Hi there, this is Jag, your Office 365 daily vlogger. So, in yesterday's video, we, we spoke about four different ways of moving your files, your personal work files, from wherever they are into OneDrive for business, okay? And one of the ways is to use the SharePoint migration tool, okay? Don't let the name of the migration tool fool you. It's not just for SharePoint, it's also for OneDrive for business, okay? So, we look at how to use the SharePoint migration tool to move some sample data across into OneDrive for business in this video. So enough talking, let's jump in the machine and uh, let's have a look. Here we are, we've uh, installed the SharePoint migration tool, the latest build, and uh, we've just logged in. And now let's go ahead and create a new migration. Here you can see, you can actually bring in the data from your SharePoint 2013 uh, sites or from a file share or what you can do also is you can actually create a CSV file uh, with the combinations of either you know different SharePoint sites and, and file shares okay so in this case I have files on my machine here so I'll just select file share and you can say it's asking you to choose the location okay I'll just go ahead and choose the location I've got I've got some sample files set up here in the new folder, I'll just click OK and click Next. So here, as you can see, you know, automatically it's taking you to the root directory of your uh, root SharePoint site, okay, of your Office 365 tenant uh, based on the login details. But remember, we want to actually move it across into OneDrive for Business, okay? So here we have a OneDrive for Business site. Um, so here you can see that there's nothing in this folder except in, in my OneDrive except for a folder with notebooks, okay? So here what I need to do is this is the important bit here. You need to copy the address location as shown on the screen. Copy that and now move over to the actual SharePoint migration tool. Instead of the SharePoint site, just press and uh, paste the, the OneDrive for business location, okay? And now it, it goes and reads the site, the OneDrive for Business. And because it's OneDrive for Business, it doesn't actually show you um, any, any document libraries. If it is a SharePoint site, it'll ask you which document library should I actually push the documents to. Okay, in this case, it is OneDrive for Business. So it's not actually asking you to select a uh, document library because it's, there's only one document library within OneDrive for Business. All right, see, the other thing you can notice here is... Uh, here we've set, you know, the account here, this is the account, the highlighted part here in the, in the URL is the account details of the user that you're, you're migrating to. If you're an admin, you could change this with the, um, any user in, in, in your Office 65 tenant, okay? So now click next. And it's, it's automatically created a migration job for you. And it's asking, should you want me to add one more, you know, a, a different job and the, source okay that tells you that you could actually in a single migration job you could actually have multiple source locations okay in this example i'm bringing in from a desktop folder uh, called new folder but you could actually go and you know create multiple tasks or multiple locations within the same job okay so in this for, for the sake of the demo i'm just gonna just uh, stay with one source now let's go ahead and say click next here you can actually see that uh, you could actually do a performance of scan. You can just scan to see if there's any issues or you could just do a full migration straight up straight up Okay, you can also uh, uh, preserve the file permissions and so on so in the e advanced settings you can actually set up How many versions you want to bring across if there's any, any versions within your SharePoint or you know You could actually se select the date range as well. You don't want to bring in everything You just want to bring in the last two years of data or so you could do that too Okay for, for the sake of the demo, I'm just not going to select any of those. Now, let's go ahead and click on the Migrate button. So what it's going to do, it's going to scan the environment first, and then it's going to just, you know, finish up running the job. As you can see, it's finished scanning, and it's now starting to migrate the, the files across. Because there's not many files in the actual uh, the, the demo location, it's going to go through very quickly. But remember, if you know if you're selecting huge amounts of uh, files, you know there could be some delay there. Selected 100%, and it gives you a report. 
OneDrive for Business and you can actually see all the files that are migrated here. Okay, So that's how you do use the migration, SharePoint migration tool to bring in your files uh, from your desktop into OneDrive for Business. Okay, so the key takeaway for this uh, for this video is 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 pretty much just know that you know SharePoint migration tool doesn't mean that you only can actually move SharePoint assets. It's uh, you could actually use it for bringing files across into OneDrive for Business. Okay, because OneDrive for Business is backed by by SharePoint in, at the back end anyway. There you have it. That's uh, that's a quick lesson on how to use my SharePoint migration tool. Hope you learned something new. If you did. Please do connect with me on LinkedIn and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks a lot.